Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel where we explore the most amazing places on earth. Today, we are going to take you on a journey to the world's most empty country, a place where you can experience the ultimate solitude and tranquility. Can you guess which country it is? It's not Antarctica, which is technically not a country and has no permanent residence. It's not Mongolia, which is the least densely populated country in the world, but still has over 3 million people living in its vast territory. It's not Greenland, which is mostly covered by ice and has only 56,000 inhabitants. The answer is Namibia. Namibia is the world's second least densely populated country, behind only Mongolia. Only 2 million people live in a landmass that's twice the size of California. That means there are only three people per square kilometer, compared to 263 in the US and 7,800 in Singapore. Namibia is located in Southern Africa, bordering South Africa, Botswana, Zambia, and Angola. It was colonized by Germany and later by South Africa until it gained its independence in 1990. Namibia is known for its diverse landscapes, rich wildlife, and fascinating culture. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the most incredible sights and experiences that Namibia has to offer. You'll see the stunning Namib Desert, which is the oldest and driest desert in the world, and home to the highest sand dunes on Earth. You'll see the Skeleton Coast, which is littered with shipwrecks and bones of whales and seals. You'll see the Atosha National Park, which is one of the best places to see elephants, lions, rhinos, and other animals in their natural habitat. You'll also see the Himba people, who are one of the last nomadic tribes in Africa and have a unique way of life and culture. The Namib Desert, which covers most of the country's western coast, is the oldest and driest desert in the world. Geologists believe that it has been dry for at least 55 million years, and possibly as many as 80 million. The desert features gravel plains, shifting sand dunes, and scattered mountains. The sand dunes of the Namib can reach a height of 1,000 feet, 300 meters, making them some of the tallest sand dunes on Earth. Etosha National Park is one of the best places to see elephants, lions, rhinos, and other animals in their natural habitat. The park covers an area of 22,270 square kilometers, 8,600 square miles, and was named after the large Etosha Pan, which is almost entirely within the park. The pan is a vast expanse of salt that can be seen from space. It covers 23% of the total area of the national park and attracts millions of flamingos during the rainy season. The park also has strategically placed watering holes that allow visitors to observe the wildlife easily and safely. The Skeleton Coast is a 500 kilometers long and 40 kilometers wide protected area that stretches from the coastal town of Swakopmund in Namibia to the Kunena River at the Angolan border. The coast is part of the Namib Desert and is named for the whale bones and the hundreds of broken ships that litter its beaches. Many sailors lost their lives after being run aground in the Skeleton Coast's thick fog. The coast is virtually uninhabited and thoroughly untamed. It is also home to desert-adapted elephants, rhinos, lions and giraffes that roam among the sand dunes and shipwrecks. The Himba people are an indigenous group with an estimated population of about 50,000 people living in northern Namibia and southern Angola. They are a semi-nomadic, pastoralist people who speak Aji Himba, a variety of Herero. They are known for their red skin which is obtained from the constant use of ajais, a mixture of butterfat, ochre and herbs that protects them from the sun and insects. They also have a unique hairstyle that consists of red knotted braids. They are deeply religious and worship Mukuru, their supreme god, through ancestor reverence. They have preserved their traditions and culture despite modern influences. Namibia is a country that offers a lot of diversity and beauty for those who seek adventure and solitude. It is a place where you can experience the wonders of nature, the history of human civilization, and the culture of a resilient people. Namibia is truly the world's most empty country, but also one of the most fascinating and rewarding ones to visit. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Namibia. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. 
Let us know if you have ever been to Namibia or if you would like to go there someday. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.